Good stuff. All right, I'm at the uh, Hedowinda Falls parking area. Uh, just so you're aware, you do have to pay a fee. And I just did, so uh, yeah, good to go. The view of the mountain here is real nice. I'm just uh, making my way up the trail to the falls, which I think are up there. You can hear uh, water flowing now. Okay, this looks like uh, Etowanda Falls, right here. Pretty cool, huh? I'm gonna keep going up the creek, I think, and uh, see what I find, you know, a little further. Right, there's two forks, I'm going up this one first. Some of these spots on the creek, like this one, look like they'd make uh, great water holes, you know, in the summer. Uh, right now, there's a lot of flow, so a lot of turbulence in there. <laughs> All right, so I'd say at uh, where I'm at and a little before, obviously, it does get a little more challenging to traverse than it was early on, just warning you. Uh, but yeah, it's not too bad here, and I'm gonna keep making my way up. See all this cool uh, water flowing out of these uh, cracks and crevices. <laughs> all right, I'm at a fork where uh, this is kind of the main creek, and there's a side creek, and you might be able to see it, a little waterfall up there. So I'm gonna take a quick detour away from the main creek and uh, go to the waterfall. All right, it's actually kind of a two-tier waterfall if you consider this a waterfall. I'm a little on the fence about it, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna scramble up and over this and uh, look at the upper tier. Very nice. Kinda got a little rainbow here, actually. Kinda cool. I don't know if this waterfall has a name, but uh, if I'm the one to name it, does it Rainbow Falls? <laughs> yeah. All right. Good stuff. There it is. The rainbow. <laughs> Very cool. It's nice and uh, sustained right there, I guess. Yeah, not too bad. Pretty tall too. So I like this one. Good stuff. All right. That was a nice tributary. I'm gonna go further up this way, and the hope is that there'll be some waterfalls. We'll see. Okay. So. I've seen videos, I think, of uh, these falls on YouTube, but definitely more water now than there, uh, than there was in the past. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty epic. <laughs> and it's just like right above that uh, fork, so you don't have to go too much further once you get to that waterfall with the rainbow. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna poke around there a little bit. There is a rope. I don't think I'm gonna go up. I might go back, because there's a few other falls I wanna check out or spots, but yeah, very cool. <laughs> so big. <laughs> yeah, so much water now. I'm pretty sure this is the one, you know, that I've seen in some of the other videos. People are pouring up here. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Must be. You know. Very, very magnificent. Quite a bit of water. Ah, maybe I'll do a cold plunge here. Maybe just down there. Uh, <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of velocity here, so yeah. I feel like if you wanted, or if I wanted, I might be able to just climb up above. Uh, well, I'll give it. A, I'll give it a try. Why not? <laughs> Woo! It's a nice view. <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah. Uh, pretty awesome. It's nice that there's a rope here, you know, get a really, really good angle of the fall. <laughs> All right, so I kind of went up the rope along the wall and I stopped just right, right at the edge. Uh, as you get closer and further up, the rope gets wet, uh, which is kind of a bad sign in and of itself, but it also starts to feel a little more slippery. So I figured, all right, I could probably get up there, but I'm just gonna play it safe, you know, I'm alone. Uh, yeah, I don't suggest you do this on your own. I suggest you go with people and do this. Uh, but nonetheless, you know, it's fun. And uh, as of now, it feels secure, at least enough to hold me. So, yeah. All right, I've been getting in the water a bunch, but I'm gonna do my official cold plunge here, just a little downstream from the falls. Ready? One, two, three. Woo! That's chilly. Ah, yeah. <laughs> 
This is the San Bernardino. It's nice to be in the San Gabriels. It's San Bernardino National Forest, I think, officially. But yeah, it's uh, San Gabriel Mountains, I believe. Yeah, good stuff. Icy water, not too long, not too deep, to be honest. But uh, yeah, cold plunge number one. Yeah. All right, this is a nice spot to do a little cold plunge, you know? It's just uh, downstream from that larger waterfall. And uh, the other fork, I think, is that way to the waterfall with the rainbow. So, yeah, gonna make my way back down to the main Adoranda Falls and probably go up the left uh, or west fork. Uh, and if I have time, I'll kind of loop down towards, uh, what's it called? Bay Canyon Wash. And I might go up, we'll just see what the timing's like. You know, I may come back in a future date to do Day Canyon Wash. I do have some time commitments this afternoon. All right, making my way up the left fork now, or the west fork of the Vedawanda. Uh, a lot of people at the falls, but yeah. All right, here's a waterfall. Uh, there are some people out there, but it's good stuff. I'm gonna try to go around. All right, little structure, kind of cool. Okay, that's pretty nice. Uh, this is up the left fork, you know. Uh, there's a little rope, which I may use to get up. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> Okay, so I did try going up that, and it's not too bad, except for the fact that it's real slippery down there. So I actually grabbed on up there, and I just sort of slid back down, dropped my water bottle and stuff, and this got wet. So I need to bring better waterproofing stuff here, but I'm gonna just kind of go up and around briefly. This looks manageable. Uh, and uh, see what's on the other side. So I initially tried that rope. I was thinking about going up there, but it looked pretty loose. There winds up being a little trail over here that works. Uh, just so you know, I think I may have injured one of my fingers a little bit uh, on the rope. <laughs> Very slippery and a little sketchy. Uh, so if I have to climb in the future during this trip, I won't. Uh, uh, but yeah, be careful. <laughs> this is kind of nice, you know. Not as uh, big as some of the ones further down, but still pretty beautiful nonetheless. Keep heading up a little ways and see what we find. All right, I'm up the left fork, uh, or the west fork, and we got another little crossroads here. Uh, you know, two forks. So I'm gonna go up the left fork of the left fork first, and the right fork of the left fork second. All right, I think this looks like a nice turnaround spot. Uh, normally I'd try to climb up and over that, but just, you know, as I said before, given the state of my finger, I don't think it makes a lot of sense to do climbing now. But yeah, I'm gonna head back down shortly then and then go up the right fork of the west fork. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, nice little uh, uh, waterfall, I guess. Yeah. So this is my, <laughs> so this is my uh, first time in the Etowanda area, Etowanda Falls. And yeah, it's pretty nice. You know, I wasn't really sure how many people would be here. And um, what the case is, is uh, near near the main falls, like pretty close to the main falls, we do have a lot of people, right? It's a popular spot, it's easy to hike to. And it's kind of one of the few hikes that's just real close to, I think, neighborhoods in Rancho Cucamonga. I mean, I guess you have Baldy and, uh, you know, all the one above Sapphire Falls, but it's pretty nice. You know, uh, a little further up though, you know, see no one. <laughs> so when you get past some of the major obstacles or where it's easy to traverse, a lot of the falls, especially that larger one on the, you know, right fork or east fork, uh, not too many people. So yeah, maybe we'll find uh, one more waterfall before going back. I think I'm gonna skip Day Canyon wash today because I hurt my finger and I have time commitments. <laughs> so yeah. All right, we're going up this branch a bunch of uh, frogs. Not as many as I saw sort of in the summer, but a few. <laughs> you know, they're around. Okay, pretty cool. Let's hope for something uh, really magical soon because I got to turn back shortly. <laughs> All right, so it's gotten pretty bushy. Uh, you know, I might do a little more of this, but I'll probably turn back soon. Hoping to find something good, but it's hard to say. Nonetheless, you know, this whole trip I've found several Pretty awesome waterfalls, so yeah, uh, it's a win. <laughs> All 
All right, this is sort of satisfying. Uh, I like it, you know. Uh, given how bushy it is here, I think that it's a nice spot. Uh, I might turn around, but it looks like I can just kind of go up and over. So I think I'm going to do that. Uh, but yeah, this uh, may be the turnaround spot, uh, the highlight of the turnaround spot, and it may not be. So we'll see. <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna turn around here. Uh, you know, I made it up a little further, but to be honest, it's pretty overgrown and I do have uh, time commitments, you know, this afternoon. So unfortunately, going to the top of this, or at least until there's a real big waterfall, will have to be another time. Same with uh, Day Canyon Wash, you know, I wanted to go up there, but I think I'm just gonna cut that. Uh, for now and uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed this i'm gonna make my way down it says never enter the jungle sorry unless you're going all the way i guess next time we'll have to go all the way didn't realize those were the rules <laughs> kind of good ways though all right so just wanted to say this uh not sure if i'm gonna come back here anytime soon but if I do come back here, I'll probably go to Day Canyon Wash first and just skip this place. And if I do come back to this place, I will go further up this fork instead of going up the right fork. Just to see what's up there. So stay tuned. All right, I feel like you get a pretty nice view of uh, Etiwanda Falls here. And uh, yeah, it drops quite a bit. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's an impressive area. There's a lot of people here right now, but you can't see them from where I am. Uh, but yeah, this spot's only about 1.6 miles out, I think. So if you just want to come here, that's, uh, that's fine too. It's a great area.